More than 200 moons are floating around in our solar system, with more being discovered daily. Some moons have bizarre shapes and icy or molten surfaces, and some could hide life under their surface oceans. Join us as we look at the real images of our solar system, what NASA really discovered there. This exciting journey will take you through the mysteries of our solar system, such as unraveling the secrets of a 350 years raging storm, debunking a common misconception about the hottest planet, and revealing an alternate home to our planet Earth. Follow us on this exhilarating thrill. Continue watching, liking, commenting, and subscribing to our channel. Pluto You might not know this, but the dwarf planet Pluto has five moons, some of which are so far away they're hard to imagine. Pluto's largest moon, Charon, was discovered on June 22, 1978. Charon is half the size of Pluto at 750 miles across, and the pair is called a double dwarf planet system because they orbit a central point in space, not each other, and this image shows us the differences. That's what 40 years of technology have brought us, and this is an image of Charon as the New Horizons spacecraft flew over it in July 2015. Charon is covered with mountains, has a Grand Canyon that stretches more than 1,000 miles, is four times as long as the Grand Canyon in the USA, and is twice as deep. Neptune Neptune is a distant planet away from the Sun at 8th in our solar system. Voyager is the only spacecraft that has come close enough to Neptune and captured 21 images showing a massive storm raging on the planet. Neptune, known as the Great Dark Spot, before Voyager completed its mission and headed into interstellar expanse. It took close-up shots showing bright clouds in Neptune's atmosphere. The Hubble telescope took a recent photograph of Neptune in December 2020. It snapped this image of the Great Dark Spot. Because Neptune is so far away, the best pictures of it came from the European Southern Observatory's gigantic telescope. Using a narrow-field adaptive optics mode of the Explorer's Instrument Multi-Unit Spectroscope, as the photo shows, the most explicit images of Pluto you'll ever see are those shot at long range. The planet Neptune has 13 moons, and one of those is Triton. On August 25, 1989, the Voyager 2 spacecraft flew by Triton and snapped these images. Triton is the largest Neptune moon, and it's a weird one because it's the only moon in our solar system rotating in the reverse direction of its planet's rotation. The volcanoes and geysers spew water, ice, and ammonia, leaving massive craters on Triton. Its colossal surface crater is 9 miles across. Researchers say there are vast oceans of liquid water under the surface with some life, and a planned mission called Trident to get up close to them is underway. Neptune won't always have this moon, though. Triton will come so near Neptune that tidal forces will pull it apart millions of years from now and form bright new rings around it. Uranus The planet Uranus has 27 moons we know of, but we'll look at the unique ones. Miranda has surface canyons that, unlike any other known in the solar system, have a massive fault and are 12 times as deep as the Grand Canyon. The third largest Uranus moon, Umbrella, is blue due to its water, ice, and rock surface since Uranus rotates the Sun on its side, and the planet and its moons have extreme seasonal cycles. It means the North and South Poles will spend 42 years in full sunlight and another 42 years in continuous darkness. This photo was taken using three color filters and is one of the most explicit images from Voyager as it flew by Uranus. 1999 seventh planet from the Sun. Using three color filters, Voyager shot the image on July 11th and 12th of 2004. A composite image of Uranus was ready. The Keck telescope revealed the icy, cold world and its rings, and those bright spots on the planet's surface that we call auras. On November 2011, the Hubble telescope snapped an excellent image of Uranus, showing colored images of the red rings and icy blue spheres. In 2017, the Hubble telescope captured or was once again on Uranus. Saturn 
The beautiful ringed planet, Saturn, has a lot of moons and 82 discovered so far. That means we'll be spending a little time with Saturn. Pan is a small moon with a unique shape found by the Voyager probe in 1990. It was a very odd shape, just 8.6 miles in diameter. Another of Saturn's innermost moons, Atlas, is strange. Some say it looks like a UFO. NASA's Cassini spacecraft snapped some futuristic images of this unique flying saucer shape about 19 miles in diameter. But its look is nothing compared to Saturn's moon. Hyperion researchers say it looks like a space sponge because it's likely a fragment of a more giant ancient moon. A massive impact on the early solar system destroyed that. When first looking at this, we think you're saying that's no moon, but you'd be mistaken. Even though this moon resembles an iconic moon-shaped fictional space station, the giant impact crater that covers a third of its diameter and measures 80 miles across with three-mile-high walls as evidenced by the fractures on the other side and the three-mile-high craters on Saturn's sixth largest moon nearly ripped this moon apart. Enceladus is special because researchers know it has subsurface oceans. Thanks to the images from NASA's Cassini spacecraft, which showed giant water ice plumes erupting from the surface and spraying high into the atmosphere, NASA decided to steer. Cassini descended into one of these water vapor plumes to collect samples. Cassini discovered ice particles, salt, hydrogen, simple organic compounds, and even complex organic compounds. It means that Enceladus oceans meet all the requirements for life to exist. Don't worry, we remember Triton. It's the second largest moon in the solar system, with a nitrogen-rich Earth-like atmosphere. Surface additions depict dry river networks and hydrocarbon lakes. With its 13 years of data and more advanced technology, the Cassini spacecraft has provided us with new and incredible images of Saturn. In the solar system, besides Earth, the only other place with liquid water on its surface that teems with complex chemicals necessary for living organisms is Titan. NASA wants to find out with its Dragonfly mission, which will look for the origins and signs of life. The Dragonfly is an eight-rotor drone which will take advantage of Titan's dense atmosphere and low gravity as it flies around looking for signs of life. Jupiter Jupiter is another planet with an incredible number of moons. Some say more than 80. Now, one of them, the largest moon in our solar system, Ganymede, is called the King of the Moons and is even more significant than the planet Mercury. Jupiter's moon Io, with its 240 active regions, is the most volcanically active place in our solar system. This image combines data from the Keck 2 telescope on Mauna Kea, Hawaii, and shows a massive eruption that covers an 11 square mile area. As the explosion ejects material into space, NASA's Galileo spacecraft snaps. This image of volcanic plumes, the largest volcano on Io, is lucky, and it's always active, as seen on June 28, 1997, with one captured on the moon's rim and the other right in the center of the image with a reddish shadow. Europa, another Jupiter moon, is erupting and could have life hidden beneath its thick crust. The thinking is that the icy crust has substantial interior oceans that have more water than all the water on Earth combined. We know they're salty oceans because NASA's Galileo spacecraft, which comes with a magnetometer on board, detected something conducting electricity on Europa. Jupiter is so giant that it pushes and pulls on Europa, creating heat friction that causes the surface to expand and crack. This image shows the process of forming patches of ice in jigsaw puzzles and the red brine below coming to the icy surface. The thought is that Europa could have good conditions for life below the surface. Jupiter's moon Callisto is the outermost of the four big moons. It's about 3,000 miles in diameter. There aren't any volcanoes or underground oceans here. Interestingly, its moon is ancient, as old as the solar system and is geologically dead. It's also the most heavily cratered object in the solar system, and images from the Galileo spacecraft are something to examine. Callisto is Earth's closest planetary cousin. Jupiter, also called the giant gas planet, is the largest in our solar system, with a unique look from all other worlds due to its giant great red spot, a storm raging on it for 350 years and large enough to swallow up the whole Earth. The Juno spacecraft, flying just 5,600 miles above the Great Red Spot, captured the closest image of the massive storm. A bit further away, it is more accurate in color 
then we would see if we were orbiting Jupiter. But you know, it also captured incredible pictures of polar regions that are impossible to see from Earth. And what's surprising is that Jupiter's North Pole has storms spinning at its center that are all laid out in precise geometrical design. The storms, which appeared as regular fixtures in Jupiter's atmosphere, are not typical weather. Still, more incredible photos would come, and on November 13, 2018, using data from the Juno Image app helped create a new image of Jupiter, and it's nothing short of breathtaking. The Hubble telescope on July 27, 2019 captured Jupiter's trademark Great Red Spot, which researchers believe is shrinking. Mars In our solar system, the fourth planet from the Sun, Mars, has always been of great interest to humans. The planet Mars is extensively studied. The Viking spacecraft captured stunning images of mass in 1979, like the pictures of the Valles Marineris, and the Viking orbiter snapped a photo showing the South Pole Plains and polar ice cap. In 2013, the European Space Agency's Mars Express took highly detailed pictures of Pebbles Cosma, the northernmost region of the Valles Marinus, as shown in the movie created from the images shot in 1913 by the European Space Agency's Mars Express that took high-definition shot of Pebbles Cosma. Mars has a couple of moons in orbit, and one of them will have a brutal ending. According to the best images, Phobos is a small moon, measuring 17 by 14 by 11 miles in size. From the Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter, Phobos is the largest object on Mars, and the larger of its two moons has a non-spherical shape and orbits the planet so close that it makes three orbits in just one day. The Stickney Crater, six miles across, Sinai from a massive impact that nearly shattered the moon is its most notable feature. However, Phobos is getting close to Mars by 5.9 feet every 100 years, and in 15 million years, it will collide with Mars. Mercury Mercury, the planet closest to the Sun, travels over 900 miles per second while orbiting at median distance of 36 million miles. Many spacecraft have studied Mercury over the years, but NASA's MESSENGER was the first spacecraft to orbit the planet. Images showed the surface, covered in craters, of all sizes and massive asteroid impacts. Sites like the Van Eyck Crater, which is 168 miles in diameter, and the Caloris Basin Jason, which has a diameter of 960 miles, and mountains on its rim. 1.2 miles high, these are images with spectral surface measurements taken on April 29, 2015. MESSENGER snapped over 200,000 shots of Mercury before the end of its mission in 2015 by intentionally crashing into the planet's surface. The probe's demise was inevitable as the MESSENGER ran out of fuel, having been orbiting Mercury since March 2011, right? Before crashing, it returned its final shot, the highest resolution Mercury photo ever captured. VENUS Your first thought is Mercury will be the hottest of the planets closest to the Sun. But our next world is the hottest planet in our solar system. Earth's nearest neighboring planet and the second planet from the Sun, Venus, has a thick atmosphere made up of mainly carbon dioxide, nitrogen gas, and sulfur dioxide and nitrogen, which traps the heat of the Sun, making it a hellish world. Devendra 13 was a Soviet Union-built lander to explore Venus. Then Wright 13 was the first lander to send color photos from the surface of Venus's hot world, with a surface temperature as high as 880 degrees Fahrenheit. The probe was designed to last only 30 minutes, but due to its tank-like structure, it continued transmitting images and data for over two months. After touching down on March 1, 1982, NASA sent the Magellan spacecraft to Venus in 1992 to map and image the entire surface of Venus. Once Magellan had finished mapping the surface, it also ended its mission by crashing into the fiery planet's surface. Earth Finally, we head back home. Earth has just one moon, and it's the last planet closest to the Sun that has a moon. The moon as we know it is the original wonder of our night sky. It's the fifth largest natural satellite in our solar system and the only place humans have set foot on outside of Earth. And our moon is not just some rock floating next to us in space, but keeps us company on lonely nights. Our planet needs it 
to maintain life by regulating its axis, which wobbles. Earth's moon contributes to a stable climate and a natural Earth rhythm and controls the tides in our oceans. The early moon has light in dark areas, which tells us that it once had a molten crust that crystallized to form the gray landscape. We see now that the creation of our moon was likely when a Mars-sized object collided with Earth 4.5 billion years ago, and the moon formed out of the molten debris. Our moon is doing the opposite of Mars Phobos moon and is being pushed away by the Earth's tidal bulge. The moon is getting farther away by 1.6 inches per year, and the planet's rotation is slowing. When the sun turns a red giant, the moon's orbit will decay. Dragged by the sun's atmosphere, it will get closer to Earth until it reaches the rush limit, 11,470 miles above the planet, where it will be ripped apart and form a Saturn-like ring of debris around the Earth's equator. But there's no need to worry about this now. We've got about 4.5 billion years left until this happens. Conclusion So exciting to live in our times. Today's advanced technology makes more discoveries possible by creating incredible new images of moons in our solar system from old data. Thanks for watching. Please follow, like, leave your comments, and remember to hit the subscribe button below.